Folks, we are up in the back country. And I've I got a bite with them Paul landed the elusive Polish flounder. All we're doing today is we're doing the old keep it simple, stupid. We're up here in the shallows because this tide's gonna be so high, it's blowing 20 out of the north. We're just coming off that wicked damn full moon. So all we're doing up here is we're using some lemon drop rattle floats. Coming down to a half ounce jig head. And putting on a piece of dead shrimp. Yep. And we're just flicking it out. And seeing what happens. With hopefully as this tide comes up, we're going to get even further and further back. Because I've had great success in here once that tide got super high. So, we may end up way back there. Oh, little drum, little black drum. All right. Woohoo, puppy drum. <laughs> Whoa. A little bigger. A little better. Another pupper. Pupper. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Redfish. Mr. Redfish. There we go. Nice. That's a redfish. Little pupper. All right. Pupper red. Pupper red. First one of the day. I was just complaining. Hey. You know, Paul, we need to do more complaining. <laughs> more complaining. <laughs> more complaining makes the fish bite. <laughs> We're snapping the cork. I was doing a lot of snapping of the cork right then. And see what this is? This is a little rattling cork. So let's see if he is a keeper. Yeah. You're allowed to pinch their tail. 18 inches, right? On the mark. On the mark, I have witnesses <laughs> that we just got an 18 inch RB Brutus T red bass. Yes, sir, folks. Got ourselves another one. We're, we've done the world tour and we're back at the old power line. Oh, pupper. Pupper, pup, pup, pupper. But he's filmable. <laughs> <laughs> trying to catch the net. Who let the puppers out? <laughs> All right, well, they come in all sizes. Yes, they do. All right. Well, that was quick again. Yeah. Oh, nah, nope. he's a pupper. That one's so much better than the last one. Hey, remember I told you when we came in here that sometimes you can sit here and just pound the hell out of these little yeah. guys? Just for the fun of it. 
Sometimes I don't mind just coming in here. Just to have fly, uh, yeah. Just cool. to have action and catch these guys. Nothing's wrong with it. Ooh, let the puppies out. <laughs> Number 10 dive. Oh, yeah. One got a little spark to him. Oh, yeah. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a net worthy. Net worthy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Swimming in that. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's net worthy. Beautiful. There you go. Hey, if you can't get a redfish, catch a drum! Oh boy, I'm telling you, this is the one we were waiting for all day! This is him. This is the one I was telling you that's gonna give my rod a little stretching. Look at this one. This is the one we've been wanting all day. Oh yeah, baby. I just threw it way over there and turn around and start talking to you. <laughs> and it just starts swimming away. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> oh, look. He's got a remora on him. Look at that. He's big enough to have a damn remora hanging on him. A sucker fish. That's cool. a sneaker head. That's a fish with a suction sneaker on top of his head. Remora! Yeah, baby! See now his stripes are going away. Yep. He's not that pretty. Alright. But they eat just like a redfish. Oh, well. Okay. Alright! Cooking with some stank on the hook. See, other than these rod, my rod and reel here, I am low tech fishing like there's no tomorrow. I think I either, I think I showed it. A little clicker float, 15 pound mono, quarter ounce jig, put a shrimp on it. We've got the mono tied to the braid on the blingster here. Get her out there, give her a little stroke every once in a while. And that's about all she wrote. All you got to do. Dig in a shrimp under a lemon drop cork. Looky here. Looky, 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 loo. I was wondering if a trout was ever going to eat a jig and shrimp. And finally got one. Ha! I thought he was a pup red. All right, we're packing it in. The trout are chewing. Well, they were chewing and we were just adjusting. <laughs> and then we decided, guess what? We better go in because Paul's got to pick up his wife. And we still got to do fish cleaning and then get all the way back. So, we are actually leaving them biting. We could probably pick through them and get some more trout. So, we'll just leave them for next time. You can bet your ass I'll be back up in here. <laughs> All right, so, good day in Mill Cove. Now it's time to go make the donuts. <laughs>